notice I drilled the four clearance holes for the one and five eighth inch drywall screw and that just goes right through. And on the drum I've also drilled one, two, three, four pilot holes, eighth inch diameter, so I can attach the base to the drum. And it's as simple as screwing the four one and five eighth inch drywall screws in. And now all we have to do is remove the short piece and attach this whole assembly to a microphone stand. So this is the body. It's made up of one half inch plywood and the overall dimensions are 19 and a half by 11 and a half. And there's a partition right here that starts seven inches in. The depth of this case is three and a quarter, but as you can see, this partition is only three inches. So that leaves a quarter of an inch space here and all around I've cut out half inch by half inch pieces of plywood and glued them on so now I have a quarter inch channel all the way around here and that will be used later on to sit on the base. I'll be gluing the 1 8 inch plywood on the top. Rather than go out and buy an expensive stand I have a whole bunch of microphone stands and this is a very inexpensive microphone stand. What I've done is created a base and a support system that allows you to put the drum on top like that and sit in that quarter inch channel and it's incredibly sturdy so when you are hitting on this it won't be a problem at all. The base has to fit to the inside of that channel and the dimensions I have here are 18 and a half by 10 and a half. And I placed a piece right in the middle. And in the middle of that piece, I've drilled a 5 eighth inch hole. And that 5 eighth inch hole fits the upper part of the microphone stand. These pieces, again, are 1 half inch plywood and they are 2 inches wide. Now let's look at the support system. I have two diagonal pieces and the dimensions are shown here. I have two horizontal pieces, a smaller one and a larger one and the dimensions are shown here. And then I've drilled them so that I can use number 832 screws to hold them all in place. Now let's take a look at these two horizontal pieces. You notice there's a, a hole here. And what I did to create this hole was put a 1 8 inch spacer temporarily in between these two pieces and drill a 7 8 inch diameter hole. That dimension matches the lower tube of the microphone stand. When I take that spacer out, I can push this in and that creates a friction fit around that lower tube and holds it in place. I also recessed these holes so I could use shorter screws. I could just have put them on the surface and use larger screws. Either way will work. And I drilled a hole small enough so that I could thread it into this wood and it stays there permanently. Same thing with the diagonal pieces. I recessed the screw, drilled it through so that it's permanent and then the recessed piece goes on. I've sanded and finished the uh, the case, get a nice black on it, and the base, and the support system. So now the next thing to do is to actually put the playing surface on. 
and what I have here is one eighth inch thick or in this case three millimeter 12 by 24 inch plywood and uh, this will fit on top I'll cut it out and glue it on now I've cut the top out and now it fits right like that I'm going to glue it on and then clamp it so that it gets a nice bond okay that looks pretty good I'm going to put the piece on and rather use a hundred clamps to go around I'm going to take two scrap pieces of wood that I have like that and then use a series of clamps to clamp it and I put a few more pieces of wood for the sides and we'll now wait till that dries and then proceed the glue has set so let's take a look at the finished product here it is I've sanded it flush I've rounded over the edges a little bit and and where this piece is I've actually just gone and taken some electrical tape and put it down here to differentiate between the higher pitch and the lower pitch also on the front I made up a little label as you can see Caco Bongo of course that stands for Cajon Conga Bongo so that's it go ahead and make yourself one